A little boy was walking down the street when he stumbled upon a big dog. He was startled by the sudden presence of the animal, so his first instinct was to scream at it. Go away, you stupid dog, the child yelled, and no one could have anticipated how the dog would react. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. Daniel wasn't always scared of dogs. He actually liked them very much since he had his first encounter with one at the age of three. Eventually, his parents got him his own dog, but the puppy wasn't what the family was expecting, and something happened that made Daniel look at dogs differently. Daniel's dog was a big Newfoundland named Lucy, and she belonged to his grandma. When she couldn't take care of Lucy any longer, she let Daniel's parents know. They were thrilled to receive the beautiful dog in their home, but they were a bit unsure about his ability to adapt to a new environment. Fortunately, as soon as the dog entered their home, it was like he had always been there. The dog quickly became Daniel's best friend, and they would spend hours playing together. It was clear to his parents that the dog was perfect for Daniel. As time passed, they grew closer and closer and did everything together. It got to a point where Daniel asked if Lucy could go to kindergarten with him. How adorable is that? However, when Daniel turned four, something unexpected happened. The boy talked his parents into going to the forest so they could hike with Lucy. They did, and it was a good hike. But after an hour or so, there was a loud noise that scared Lucy, and she took off running. Before they knew it, Lucy had disappeared into the forest. They tried finding her, but she was gone. Daniel was heartbroken, and when they got back home, he would sit outside for hours, calling Lucy. A few weeks turned into a month, and Daniel lost hope that his dog would find her way back home. His parents tried to comfort him, but nothing made the boy feel better about losing his best friend. He blamed himself because he was the one holding the leash, and he wasn't strong enough to hold Lucy back when she was scared. If his father had been holding it, maybe Lucy would still be with them. Daniel's hope was getting thinner and thinner, but one day, everything changed. He was walking home from school when he heard barking in the distance and it stopped him in his tracks. He listened carefully, thinking maybe he had imagined it, but then he heard it again. Daniel started following the sound and it led him to an alleyway. Without hesitation, he went into the alley and he was shocked. But before we continue with the story, like this video to help us reach 5K likes and subscribe to the channel. You probably guessed it, Lucy was in the alley. Daniel ran to her and hugged her. Then she started licking his face. The boy took a close look at her and there was something different, but he couldn't put his finger on it. He brushed it off and told Lucy it was time to go back home. Daniel's parents couldn't believe it when he walked through the door, but then his father said something unexpected. Wait, I don't think that's Lucy, is it? And then it dawned on all of them. There was something different about the dog, but what was it? The animal was a bit thinner, but that would be normal after living on the streets for three months. Eventually, they decided it was just in their heads and welcomed Lucy back home. However, something was certainly different. Things seemed to go back to normal, but Lucy had some strange behavior. For example, the dog was often distracted and staring at the window. Moreover, the dog could open the back door and it snuck away from the house sometimes. The first time they noticed that Daniel was worried Lucy would get lost again. His parents thought maybe she was hiding in bushes. The backyard was spacious after all, so maybe she was just out of sight. Little did they know that she went to the forest when she escaped. Everything continued like that for a year until tragedy struck the family. Lucy was already old when they got her and, unfortunately, she passed away at 10 years old. The family was heartbroken and the loss was especially difficult for Daniel to process. This time, his best friend was gone and she wasn't coming back. At first, he grieved the loss of Lucy by sitting in the backyard thinking about her. Eventually, Daniel started to play more and he seemed better. Then, something happened. The boy was playing alone in the front yard and he accidentally kicked the ball too hard. It bounced from a nearby fence and started rolling down the street, which was a bit hilly. 
Frustrated, Daniel went to fetch it, but when he went to grab the ball, he heard a low growl. A chill went down Daniel's spine and then the growl changed into a moaning noise, as if the animal was not doing well. When Daniel stood up straight, there was a giant dog who looked very similar to Lucy standing right in front of him. Daniel froze, but he knew he had to do something to avoid an attack. So he puffed up his chest and yelled at the dog, Go away, you stupid dog! Hoping that would make the animal run away. To Daniel's shock, the dog didn't move at all, so he started to slowly back away and he was about to run back to the house. But before he took off, the dog rolled onto its back as if asking Daniel to pet it. It was like the dog knew the boy. Daniel relaxed and went to pet the dog when he noticed something that made his heart skip a beat. The dog had the same eyes as Lucy and they really looked like the same dog. As a test, Daniel reached out his hand to pet the dog's head and the dog leaned into it like Lucy always did. He was now convinced this dog was Lucy and she had finally come back to him. He started crying. He was so happy. When Tom took the dog home, his parents were shocked about the resemblance this dog had to Lucy. They asked the boy where the dog had come from and Daniel told them. He also asked if the dog could stay and they agreed, but his parents knew this wasn't Lucy. While they were worried about hurting Daniel's feelings, they did the right thing and printed a few flyers to hang around the neighborhood in case someone was looking for their dog. A week later, no one had contacted Daniel's parents about the flyer. Meanwhile, the dog and Daniel had bonded. Unaware of where it would lead later, Daniel's parents decided to take the dog to the vet to make sure it was in good health. After the vet examined the dog, he said, On the surface, this dog is almost identical to Lucy, but we still have to wait for the test results. Daniel shared with his parents that he knew the dog wasn't Lucy, but he was happy with his pet. Later that day, he convinced his parents to take the dog out for a walk in the forest. They hadn't been back there since Lucy ran away, but this time they would be more careful. As they entered the forest, the dog started pulling on the leash like she wanted to show them something. After an hour of walking, the dog led them to a tree with a hollowed out spot on the bottom. The family noticed there was a bed of leaves and twigs as if an animal had lived there. Could this be Lucy? And could this be the spot where she lived all this time? Daniel's parents were speechless and they were saved by the bell when the dad's phone started ringing. It was the vet. And when Daniel's dad picked up, the doctor revealed something shocking. This is hard to believe, but this dog's DNA matches Lucy's DNA, he said. But how could this be? It turns out that the dog was Lucy's daughter. She must have been pregnant when she ran away, and when Daniel found her in the alleyway, the pup had grown up on her own. Mystery solved! As you can imagine, Daniel and the dog became even more inseparable. He named her Lucy Jr. in honor of Lucy, and as the years went by, they grew up together. They often went on adventures in the forest behind Daniel's house and played together. It felt like Lucy had put some of her love for Daniel and the family into her daughter, and that's why she recognized the boy that day on the street. The bond between Daniel and Lucy Jr. became unbreakable, and even though she looked exactly like her mother, Lucy Jr. had a very unique personality. This story reminds us of how loving and loyal dogs can be, especially when they're treated with love and respect. It's also a reminder that even when things seem impossible, there's always a chance for good things to happen and we have to keep the hope alive. What do you think of this story? How do you feel about Lucy and her daughter both finding their way home? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe for more. See you next time.